Hi, my name is Dr. Gary Bettacher and this is the uh, software construction class. In this video I want to go over the course syllabus and uh, point out different things that are important to know as we get into the class. Obviously this is SWEN 5232 Software Construction. I'm Dr. Gary Bettacher. You can call me Dr. Bettacher or Dr. Gary. Either one's fine. And I'll point out a couple of things here. First of all, you'll see updated some date, in this case July 27, 2017. And if I make any major changes to the syllabus, then I'll revise this date. In terms of office and address, my office is Delta 171. And there's my email address. There's my phone number. The uh, secretary for the suite is named Miss Carolyn Johnson, and her phone number is uh, 283-3860. <clears throat> the class, as you know, meets 4 to 7 on Thursdays in Delta 140. My office hours are on Wednesday 1 to 4, Thursday 1 to 4, or by appointment. I recommend to get an appointment as opposed to stopping by, but that's fine. I do give priority to those people who have appointments. In the event if the door is locked, there's a phone in the hall or you use your cell phone and just give me a call or dial the last four digits 3805 and I'll open the door and let you in. Now as you know, uh, we've had the Hurricane uh, Harvey and there's been a delay in terms of assigning teaching assistants so at this point I don't know who the teaching assistant will be but once I know, I'll fill out these details here. In the class, we're going to be using a software program called Blackboard, which I'll explain a little bit later. And <clears throat> there's a link, a, a link to Blackboard, and so if you click here, it'll take you there. The required textbook for the class is Martin Fowler, and there's the information there. Also, there's a recommended book in terms of the course, we're going to be studying software development design methods, analysis, and methods. And uh, what we're going to do um, is focus a lot on UML, the Unified Modeling Language, Java Eclipse. And for the class, the traditional graduate student takes three classes. And I expect you to be uh, to put in anywhere from 15 to 20 hours for this class per week. And uh, you'll find that I'm pretty demanding, but I'm demanding because I care. Just like I made these videos for the first week of classes because I care a lot about your education and I want to see you succeed as, as you go forward. Course goals will be focusing on a lot of different types of UML diagrams. And uh, we're going to look at how you take the UML diagrams, map it into Java at times, and then we're going to look at something called refactoring. Prereq is, prereqs for the class. It is, uh, you know, programming class in C Sharp or Java, Java would be helpful. And uh, you may, I have a whole series of YouTube videos on what's called the Google Drive, which I'll explain a little bit later. You might want to look at those prior, you know, at some point during the semester. The class would primarily face-to-face. -face. We'll have interacting, interactive problem solving for this semester. The grades will uh, be based on the following. We're going to be having assignments. That'll be 15% of the grade. There are quizzes, which count for 5% of the grade. A midterm for 40% of the grade and a final for 40% of the grade, so it adds up to 100 points. There's also points for cell phone, and that's not a good thing you want to do. And also, you are allowed one absence, but after that you lose two points per absence. And I'll talk about that here in a bit. Now, one thing that you notice here, grades are based on the criteria given above. No other factors will be considered. I will not consider something like a, you come, a student comes by and says, oh, I wanted a higher grade, or I participated a lot, or I improved on my grade, or I put in extra effort, 
or I need a better grade to avoid probation, or if I get a poor grade, I lose my scholarship, a job opportunity, maybe a TA position. I need a better grade in order to graduate uh, based on my immigration status needs, family needs. So none of these reasons will be applied for modifying your grades. I'll tell you that right now. The grading scale is given as shown here. I have a motto which is foster disciplined altruistic passion. Discipline means that you kind of self-manage yourself and uh, you know commit yourself, put a lot of time in for whatever you happen to be doing. Passion is to get excited about your studies, your course. And if you can't get yourself excited about either this class, software engineering, then who will? So you, you need to find a way to get yourself excited about being in the class. Also, altruistic means uh, you're, you're self, selfless, not selfish, but selfless. So you're concerned about the, uh, the welfare of, you know, others around you or the community at whole, uh, the Houston community or the uh, world community. And so you try to make the world a better place. That's kind of the simplest way to put it. Now let me talk about the course schedule. What you'll notice is I've got a date for every week that we meet, like August 31st. Well, that, that's the day we should have met, but we obviously didn't because of the hurricane. And then the next meeting, which will be our first meeting, hopefully, is September uh, 7th. And as you go through this, note that all course materials are located on the Google Drive. If you haven't done so already, send me an email, and in that email include a Gmail. I will add the Gmail to the Google Drive. Once I add it to the Google Drive, you can get access to uh, uh, course materials, resources, notes, assignments, things like that. And to note in the uh, uh, schedule here, things that are in blue are available in the Google Drive, like week zero zero notes, online orientation, uh, week one notes, introduction to software construction, overview of UML, uh, papers, how UML uh, diagrams are used. Also, if you see any reading, that'll be in black, meaning referring to the book. So, uh, we'll distinguish things in blue refer to either notes or papers, and I make it clear like week zero one notes, week zero zero notes. And also, this reading is for this week and also the next week. So make sure you go through everything here. And what I would recommend, highly recommend, is that I find better students are more prepared than not so good students. And one way to get very well prepared for this class is to go to the Google Drive, get the notes at least a week beforehand, print out the notes in hard copy format, go get a three ring binder, I'd say a two inch three ring binder, put the holes in the notes office, put it in the binder, and go through the notes with a red magic marker or yellow highlighter at least five times. Okay, I can tell when a student comes to class if he or she has done this or not. And sometimes I see students literally printing the notes, bringing them to class like five minutes before class. That's very poor preparation. And the reality is you're paying a lot of money to be at UHCL and you're cheating yourself out of an education by not doing uh, what I just described. Another thing I want to point out is that you'll see embedded in a week-by-week -week, uh, notes, there'll be quizzes. That means you need to complete quiz 00, the syllabus quiz. They're, the quizzes are highlighted boldface red, yellow background. You can't miss them. And the quizzes are due at a particular time, usually 4 o'clock, beginning of class, and the date. So this quiz is due um, like three weeks from... Uh, the first class which we're not meeting. And for the syllabus quiz, um, they, they are on Blackboard. I'm assuming if you've never seen Blackboard, 
then this gives you a chance to take the quiz to get comfortable with Blackboard. You can take the first quiz many, many times, but at some point you need to get a perfect score on that quiz before you can go forward. And then once you get a perfect score, then you, the other quizzes will show up. And for the other quizzes, like quiz one and following, you can only take that quiz one time. So let me repeat that. Quiz one through two, one, two, and so forth, you can only take those quizzes one time. And we see uh, like assignments uh, posted here. Ass uh, assign assignment one, UML class diagram is worth 100 points. This is due two weeks from when it's assigned on September 7th, beginning of class, 4 o'clock. And uh, you'll also notice in the syllabus, sometimes it says like class diagram exercise. What that means is that rather than have a lecture, you show up in class and bring a laptop, and then I'll group people in groups of two to work on a particular assignment in class. So we might have theory, hands-on, some theory, hands-on, and so forth. And they'll be, uh, for the next week, read the Eclipse tutorials, complete the quiz on the Eclipse tutorials, and then when the assignment one is due, you see that in yellow, highlighted in yellow, Assignment two is Java Clips using a debugger. And we will talk about using a debugger because that's a very important thing to do and bring a laptop to class for that particular class. Then we will talk about UML use case diagrams, activity diagrams. And uh, there's assignment uh, three. Okay, this one is due Sunday, October 15th, rather than regular class, and you'll be emailing me that assignment uh, to betature at uhcl.edu. Then we'll do use case diagram exercises, activity diagram exercises in class. There's when the assignment is due, and the midterm will be on October 19th. Now, please note the following. For the midterm, I give students an opportunity, it's not required, it's optional, to submit midterm questions. And the idea is that I allow students to submit questions, and sometimes I've used up to 75, 85% of the questions. If they're good questions, I don't mind using the questions. And what it does is it, it lets you to put yourself in my shoes and say, well, okay, well, what, what is important for the class? So it gives you the perspective of what did I try to emphasize during the class. As I said, it's optional, and I have a template on the Google Drive, because if I receive 10, if 10 students turn in questions, and they're all slightly different format, it takes a lot of time for me to, uh, you know, collab uh, to co correlate those and get them uh, consistent. So please use the template on the Google Drive. Also, leave out identifying information such as your name and student ID and specify in an email whether you want me to uh, sh share your questions on the Google Drive. Some students are very competitive and they don't want me to share it. Others are okay and they say, yeah, post it to the Google Drive, that's fine. Now, this is due at 10, 10 o'clock before the midterm, but if you get it to me earlier, then it gives your fellow students a chance to take a look at the uh, questions. Well, I'm, I'm going to take a break here and I'll pick it up momentarily. One of the things, the uh, YouTube requires videos to be 15 minutes or less, and so I'll stop here and pick up uh, the rest of the syllabus.